You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Police investigating a mass shooting in Sacramento, California over the weekend took a third man into custody on Thursday the 5th of April, but said he was not accused of taking part of the massacre. In the course of investigating the multiple homicides of April 3, 2022, detectives identified a man who was seen carrying a gun in the immediate aftermath of the shooting, the Sacramento Police Department said in a statement. Detectives recovered a handgun and arrested 31-year-old Davion Dawson late Monday on charges of being a prohibited person in possession of a firearm. Police said Dawson is not charged with crimes directly related to the shootings. Yeah. Yeah, so at this point, I mean, we've had less than three days. We've served three residential search warrants. We've made three arrests and we've seized three firearms. So um, we're, we're well into the investigation, but we're far from finished. And like I said, our, our focus right now is finding every single fact available to us, locating every piece of evidence, and then gleaning whatever information we can from that evidence to determine exactly what happened and get justice for these victims. Yeah, so uh, during the course of the investigation, officers uh, investigators identified um, a male subject at the scene of the crime who was in possession of a firearm. Uh, that subject was identified as David beyond Dawson and he was contacted uh, during the course of that portion of the investigation. Uh, Mr. Dawson's firearm was recovered, um, which he's prohibited from possessing, and Mr. Dawson was arrested for the charges related to that. Um, I think anytime we have an event like this, it obviously shocks the consciousness of the community, but our officers remain committed to providing the highest standard of service and security for our community, um, and nothing's changing with that. So I would encourage the community, anybody with information, uh, videos, photos, to submit them through our community evidence portal. Um, we can provide that link and that QR code. Um, I, I, like I said, our officers remain committed to the security of our, of our community. And, and we'll continue to make sure they're protected and served. No, we just want to, again, express extreme gratitude to the community. Like I said, we've had over 170 submissions to our community evidence portal. It's kind of the first uh, large-scale launch of that uh, initiative that we've had, and we've had overwhelming support and success with it so far. So just an expression of gratitude to our community and just to know that anything you think, however innocuous, may be very vital in helping solve this thing, and we appreciate all the cooperation we've had so far. Cool.